something that fans would be surprised to find out about you? My reads, aren't real. reads 800 million books a day. <laughs> wow. Yeah. 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 Unbelievable. like a voracious reader. Sit back and let's have a chat. I am rereading Ken Follett, who is again amazing. This and World Without End are two of my favorites of his. Um, I love Robin Hobb. I, I love all of her books. Her earlier ones more than the later ones, the, the earlier Assassin Apprentice, but I love the, the Life Ship Traders. They're kind of, they're probably my favorite ones of all of them. And then we have here, this is Martha. I don't know if anybody else here knows who Martha Mitchell is, but she's one of the characters in Watergate. And uh, this is a biography about her. And just so you know, Martha was right. Um, I love Patrick Rothfuss. Yeah, the name of the wind. He also is a cool dude, so. Diary of a Provincial Lady. Uh, this is set in a small town in the 1930s in England. And I would describe this as kind of like the literary version of A Great British Bake Off. I mean, it has nothing to do with baking, but it's the same sensibility. Um, I also love Tolstoy. Let's make a jump from <laughs> fantasy into Russian literature. People have asked me how I got into Russian history, and I was thinking about it the other day. And it's a book called Nicholas and Alexandra, if anybody else is interested, by a guy called Robert K. Massey. And it's a book about the last czar and his wife and their family, and how the, the weaknesses and the strengths of one man sort of colluded to create the fall of a massive super this is i'm digressing guys i'm sorry you're stealing right wait what what are your i'm just curious what are your old favorites just for reference because i know it's going to be is it like historical because i love historical fiction fall on your knees which is another historical fiction book any book you can think of and you're like oh have you read this she'll be like, obviously you can see i have read this book a million times she is a wonderful historical fiction writer and and I have read all of hers many, many times. Um, but she is constantly giving books to people. And that is, I think, such a charming trait. By the way, Three Women that you gave me is maybe my most favorite book ever. Isn't it wonderful? Give it, everyone I've given it to are like, she also gives books. I have a couple from Katie. Uh, you'll find like a little wrapped book in your trailer one day. And she does it for everyone. Everyone. Even people that are only there for like three days. If she talks about a book with you, she'll give one to you. And I have always found that so thoughtful. Um, it is, do you know what Hogwarts house you're in? <laughs> do I know? Apparently, according to the internet, I am the whole head of Ravenclaw. Oh, uh, the most recent book I've read, I am currently reading a book on the life of Lady Jane Digby. There you go. It's called A Scandalous Lady. She's actually fascinating. But is she? Up. Yeah. What's it about? What's your deal? She was an aristocratic lady in uh, early Victorian times uh, who divorced three times and ended up married to a Bedouin sheikh and living the last 20 years of her life in the desert. That's what I would do. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Yeah. It was quite amazing. Lady from the Black, Black Lagoon, it is a book about uh, Millicent Patrick, who was one of, if not the uh, creator of the creature from the Black Lagoon. And I don't I think the book is about how she didn't get proper credit for her in for in her life. I love The Infinite Plan by Isabella Allende. It's beautiful start to finish. I mean, all her books are beautiful. She is an extremely poetic writer, but uh, there's something about a family saga that I love, so. Then we have The Bronze Horseman, another classic, Paulina Simmons. It is set in Russia during World War II and it is gorgeous and beautiful and it is the start of a series so she's got a few of them but this is my favorite one this is american rose this is a book about gypsy rose lee so if anybody here has seen the musical gypsy this is the same woman and it is her life before the musical and then it goes into what happens to her after so um it's really good it's really interesting and there was a lot of stuff i didn't know about her but she's fascinating and in the same vein, this is her own memoir. So, you know, how could you not want to know something about this woman? She's fabulous. Wonderland Avenue by Danny Sugarman. If you have read it, or if you haven't, you should. But please do, if you're going to read it, read it all the way to the end. Because if you don't, you might come away thinking heroin is a good idea. And it's not. Drugs are bad. Finish the book. It's very important. It's amazing. It's amazing. Right? Everyone wants you to do an audio book. Oh! That is very impressive. Oh.
I just don't think I'd ever leave my apartment if I just sat there just reading. I'd be like, I'm getting paid for this shit. I feel I, like Katie doing audiobooks yeah. is like a... That is a slippery slope. Have you guys read A Little Life? I look awesome. You started reading A Little Life? Uh, a Little Life. A Little Life. What's A Little Life? So it's uh, one of my favorite books, and you have to be in a very emotionally secure place to read it. Have you read it? Oh, no. It is hard. I've only read it once because it broke me. I was broken. It absolutely broke me. I was like, by the end of it, sobbing tears. I was in fits of tears by the end of it. Like weeping, sobbing, broken person. Broken person. I put that book down and I was. I haven't been able to go back. And I haven't been in an emotional place to pick it up again. It's the most beautiful book I've ever read. read, read and I. But um, it, every word of that affected me in a way that I can't quite explain. She puts very normal words together in sentences that surprise you, and these people seem real, and she's fantastic, and it's an amazing book. Books are good for you guys. Very good Peter for your brain. Good, but I'm gonna go with books. Yep. Sorry. Yep. Is there anything better than pussy? Yes, a really good book.